Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the things that is happening with Windows 11 25H2, and it's a question that often comes through the um, different comments on the channel, is that we get to updates. And what happens is that in these updates, people try to find what are the new features. And they don't see the new features. So they end up with, you know, wondering, well, you know, I don't see the features. Um, where are they? And um, what what should I do? So um, what happens very often is that um, I get that question of, well, I don't see the new features. Um, my Maybe my install isn't good. It has nothing to do with that. Um, when you get... 25H2, you might get some features. You might get more features, less features, no features. Um, my 25H2 is relatively similar to my 24H2. And that means I don't have a lot of things turned on yet. But they will eventually be coming. So even if you're on 25H2 and see no difference, they'll eventually be there. And remember that if you're on 24H2, and that you want the new features, they will also appear on 24H2. So as they are rolling out, they're rolling out to both versions. Actually, the both versions are the same version. Really, the enablement package is just a way of you know changing that build number and turning on some features or not. So be patient. Uh, it's you know how Microsoft works. It turns on the features from time to time, and as we will be going through the next weeks and months. Well, we'll be having features appear here and there. Some will have features before others. For example, that uh, mobile panel yesterday that I was showing that you can turn on or off is unavailable for a lot of people. A lot of people said, I don't have it. I'm on 25H2 and I don't have that panel. And so this just shows that Microsoft is probably using that as A-B testing. It's testing for some new features, not for everyone. And so that's what happens, and that's even happens in the insider rings. You could be an insider and not have some of the features. For example, the new Canary build that we received this week, a lot of people have the new styled uh, start menu. Well, I don't have it here. So it shows you that even in the insider builds, some features are there, others are not. It drives a lot of people crazy because, honestly, it's true that everybody wants the features. It's not a thing like, I don't want it or I want it. It's if you are an enthusiast and want to see the features, you want them. Just turn them on. And, unfortunately, that's not the way it works. I've always been a little mad at that A-B testing phase that Microsoft does all the time. So, if you don't have features, um, you, you know what? You're, uh, they'll appear at some point. If you have some of the features, you're lucky. But uh, it's all a question of time. Eventually, all of them will be turned on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.